you guys it's Mona I'm in the craft room and I am doing a resin craft today and if you remember the sunflower plaster wall hanging I made well I'm gonna do one out of resin this is similar to some other stuff that I made in the past but I wanted to do one in resin I cleaned this up after using it with the plaster and now what I'm gonna do is use some acrylic paint and this metallic bronze and then I'm going to paint the inside. I'm going to let that first coat dry. I'll come back and do some more once that dries and then we'll move on to the resin. All right, I have prepped my resin. I'm using the Easy Cast. You can use the Envirotex Light. Either one will work fine. I have it prepared here. I have the inside painted with the acrylic paint. I have some yellow glitter. I have some yellow different kinds of pearl and powders, and I have a yellow India ink. So I'm going to kind of experiment a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of this yellow in here. And I'll use the other side of my stick to do a little bit of yellow on the back side. This is a darker yellow. I'm going to put a little more of the light yellow in, I think. And then I'm going to add the glitter, the yellow glitter. And I'm going to mix this all in. And I'm going to add quite a bit of the glitter. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of the India ink. I'm going to stick my stir stick in there. That's a couple drops, basically, that I got out of there. And that's just to help support the whole yellow look to it. And you can add a little bit more if you think. But sometimes less is better. So I got about four drops in there of the yellow. All right, I have this all well mixed. Now I'm just going to start pouring it around. So this will give kind of a thin layer, so I want to make sure it gets everywhere. And it's going to flow to the ends a little bit more because there's a little bit of angle to this mold, but I want to make sure it hits all of like the ends of the petals. Just want to make sure every part gets a little bit of the glitter. It's going to settle back into these ends, which I think will actually be kind of cool because this cut this stuff is not covered or if it is it's very thinly covered so that kind of gives us an opportunity that I wasn't necessarily expecting now I'm going to take my lighter and go real quick over everything get rid of bubbles and then we'll let this sit and then we'll come back hey everyone this has hardened and I have some wire from the dollar store that I'm going to use to be able to create a little loop in the back so we can hang this. So I'm going to kind of try to figure out the best spot and I think this is a lot longer than what I need because I don't want it to show. Now I'm going to kind of bend this so it's sitting up and I want to do that because I don't want to fill it obviously with resin and I'm gonna find a spot where it won't show through so like a thicker spot is good I'm gonna put some glue I'm gonna put some glue right on the ends here place her down and that should be pretty good now I'm gonna prepare some more resin I've mixed my resin now I'm going to add some India ink and I want to be careful I'm going to pour it in normally I don't do that but I need I have quite a bit of resin here so I really want it to be a good solid yellow and you can certainly use the the dyes also I'm just happen to be using the India ink and I'm going to put some of this glamour dust in there just because I like my glitter. All right, now this should be dry, it is, and I'm gonna just pour this over. 
Now I'm going to let this sit. This is maybe a little more transparent than I wanted it to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my pigment powder, <clears throat> the very light yellow stuff, and I'm going to kind of drop it in there. I don't know why I thought it would be more solid than that. And I'll swirl it around. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to have this hanging on a fence, and I don't really want to see the fence board, or on my gate, and I don't want the gate boards showing through. So yes, I should have done this before I poured it in, but I poured it in, so there you have it. Sometimes that happens. And then I'm going to just take a little more glamour dust, just sprinkle it around the areas that I'm kind of concerned about. Okay, I think I've accomplished what I need to accomplish, and now we're just going to let this sit overnight, um, minimum of 12 hours before we unmold it, and then we'll be back. It's time to unmold our resin flower. Here it is, all sparkly and pretty. So I've got the painted area here. You can't really even tell um, hardly the difference. You can see that it's a little bit see-through in the middle, but I don't think um, that will matter. So here is the resin version of this mold versus the plaster one that I had done before. Thanks for liking this video. Thanks for watching and making me a part of your day. We will definitely see you next time. Happy crafting. Um, let me know which one you like better, the plaster one or the resin one.